Next up, we actually have our wonderful executive director here at Oshawa, Alicia Seidel. Oh, look at that. We're matching again. Wow. Wow. The Oshawa tea. Wow. <laughs> wow. We love the Oshawa tea that you two could own as a tea, as a tank, as a hoodie. Um, it's, it's all an option. I'm just going to post that fundraiser again. We'll be running that for all of October. And now we're going to have Alicia tell us a little bit about what Osh has been up to, where we're at, what's going on, Absolutely. things that are all supported by your membership. <laughs> yes. And uh, just to reiterate on what Lee was just talking about, we already have three members who will be getting uh, goodie bags in the mail. And if you notice, we also reuse shipping materials here, both for the good of the earth and so that we're not spending your precious membership dollars on brand new shipping supplies when everybody knows you've got like a load of shipping supplies in this day and age now. So thank you, um, Lee and Sid. Let me get started. Um, so this is Open Hardware Month. It's a super exciting month for Asha. It's probably one of two of our busiest times of the year. Um, as mentioned, I am the executive director of the Open Source Hardware Association. And I just want to give out a giant thank you to Lee and Sid. Everybody in the chat, like show them some love. They have done an amazing job setting this up and we would not be doing this without them. Um, Sid is our community coordinator and Lee is one of our board members and has also been the summit chair for the last few years. Um, so they continuously work on Oshawa day and night. Um, you know, we, we really try to actually like have responsible time limits at this organization. We try not to bring people out, um, but I just wanna give them an extra enormous thank you for pulling this off a 24 hour show and tell a thon and membership drive. This is huge for our organization. Um, this will be the first one and hopefully not the last. And another big shout out, thank you so much to all our existing members, our donors, our board, and our whole community. We really wouldn't be here without you. We can't exist without you. Um, we are here for you. We are a nonprofit that is for the community and by the community. And so we really appreciate all the ways that you support us. All right, and just to make sure everybody's on the same page, I'm going to go over some really like basic things about open source hardware. Just in case there's any new people here, we want to make you feel welcomed in our community and want you to feel like you know what you're talking about when you talk about open source hardware. So first, what is hardware? We consider hardware anything with atoms rather than bits. This can get pretty crazy in our hardware ecosystem as we suddenly have things like perfumes that are hardware, it's atoms, it's not bits. We have hammocks that are open source hardware. Again, atoms, not bits. We have medical equipment that's open source hardware. Atoms, not bits. So we just wanna make sure that everybody knows any kind of atoms, you're all welcome here. And what defines open source hardware? Open source hardware is defined by the ability to remake, remix, remanufacture, resell, redistribute or study and learn from the source files. So, and the hardware itself, of course. Um, so all of these things are included within open source hardware. So you have to allow people to do all of these things in order for your project or product to be considered open source hardware. And if you do these things, um, then you get to use our fantastic little logo um, that's down in the corner. It looks like a gear with um, a little chunk taken out. And just to go over, what is the source? The source is basically anything needed for anyone to make a copy. Schematics, CAD files, code, firmware, hand drawings, recipes. These are all copyrightable things. So there's an example here of the face shield from the University of Wisconsin. Um, and this is part of their source, right? This is kind of like this diagram of showing you how it all fits together. Whatever your source happens to be for um, making something, you need to put that under an open license in terms of copyright. Um, and then you can release your files as open source hardware. Um, now, 
I do want to mention that um, we don't specify exactly what kinds of source you have to have because our ecosystem is so huge and not all um, source files make sense for all projects, right? So you wouldn't have a recipe going along with a face shield, but you might have it with an open source perfume. So we, we kind of leave it up to you to make sure that you have whatever sources out there that people would basically need to make a copy of your device. All right, and then how do we get involved with Oshawa? We have lots of different ways to get involved. Um, you can certify your project in our certification. You can naturally, as we've been talking about, become a member or a donor and take part in some of these sweet, sweet perks we have in October. Members do get these amazing stickers saying that you're a member from Oshawa. Just show those at the camera real quick. We also have temporary tattoos. And remember in, in October, if you certify your project, you will get a pumpkin sticker, as long as you provide us your address. <laughs> um, so those are real stickers that show up at your mailbox. Um, you can also come to or speak at our Open Hardware Summit. We also have a summit fellowship for um, in terms of travel fund, you can get a t-shirt or a hoodie like we're all wearing here today for our at our Oshawa team. Um, you can find us on Discord. You can self-nominate to be elected to our board. So our members elect our board in. This is one of the perks of becoming a member. Um, and P.S. We really need help uh, on our board with finance, with nonprofit law and with hiring, which are all super exciting things to be doing. Um, but we are growing. And so we really could utilize some folks with that kind of knowledge and background on our board. And if you're in the medical industry, I have an update coming later on, but I just thought I'd stick it on the slide too of how to get involved. If you are in the medical industry doing open hardware, we would love to chat. Um, you can reach me at alicia.ashra.org and that goes for any, everybody medical or not, if you ever want to chat, just let me know. All right, so the certification, I just wanted to go over real quick. Um, you can certify your projects at certification.osho.org. And remember, in October, you'll get an awesome pumpkin spiced hardware sticker. Um, currently, I just pulled this today. Currently, we have 2,879 projects that have been certified. So way to go community, like that is awesome. And that is excellent. Um, we also have a fair amount of education on that site about should I certify my project? What license should I use? Can I get examples of other licenses? What projects are available in our database? We have a whole database here. Um, and you also get a unique uh, country code and a unique ID when you certify um, and you get to use our little um, certification logo as well. The exciting thing that we're seeing from the certification is that we are getting more and more industries every year creating open source hardware. Never in my wildest dreams did I think there would be an open source car here, but we have got um, cars and exercise equipment and emergency response items. We, of course, we've got microcontrollers. We're kind of founded in that electronics industry, followed closely by 3D printing. But we've expanded into, um, you know, soft fibers, um, jewelry, all kinds of different musical instruments, loads of different things um, that now we in, encompass as open source hardware. And again, thanks to hardware being anything that's made up of atoms rather than bits. All right, so I want to tell you about Ashwa's newest project. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we got funding from the National Science Foundation, or NSF. Um, they have funded our, what, what we're calling our Open Healthware Project. This project was created because, um, as we all saw in the pandemic, people started making a bunch of open source face masks, face shields, ventilators, all kinds of people needed effectively distributed manufacturing, which, you know, open source is all about. Um, 
So when we saw this, we started getting certifications in the medical industry. And we thought, oh, like, that's interesting. We don't even have a checkbox um, as, as a medical device for, um, for one of the, the certification um, industries that you can check. So um, we decided that we needed to do a deep dive, considering that this was a need that our community was basically telling us that they needed by certifying medical devices within our system. And so we are um, embarking on a research project to find out what layers are needed on top of our existing certification to really encompass an open source hardware um, health or medical device. And um, we are currently conducting interviews um, to find out why people in this space are making open source hardware, find out what the limitations are, and maybe how Oshawa can help do outreach and education about what it means to be creating open source hardware that is in the health and medical field. What happens when a particular ISO standard needs to be met or an FDA certification needs to be had for a particular manufacturer to produce that hardware? All of these things are questions in our minds right now. Um, we got to hire uh, two um, postdocs and then a third person who is replicating the open source hardware um, that we are getting into our certification system and kind of just trying to figure out like where are the stoppers, where are the roadblocks, how easy is this, how hard is this, how much medical background information do you need to have? Um, and we are going to be hiring a community coordinator specific to the medical industry, somebody who's worked in the medical industry for a long time and can really help us um, gather insights from that community um, so that Sid doesn't have to do it all themselves. <laughs> um, and so a big thanks to the NSF. This is our first government um, funded project. Um, and as a nonprofit, um, government funding is actually one of the really important grants that we can get so that we can keep our um, public support numbers what they need to be to continue being a nonprofit. And finally, yes, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Um, this means that in the US, um, our your donation is tax deductible. Um, and we depend on your philanthropy, right? We depend on your monetary gifts to exist as an organization. Um, and the, the public funding piece that I had mentioned before, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, that really helps us out. Of course, your um, financial contribu contributions also really help us out. And just as a reminder, you can make a financial contribution either as a member and get voting powers for our board or um, just as a donation if, if that um, doesn't interest you as well. So thank you so much. And if it feels to you like we are trying to do an enormous thing with a small team uh, of people and like a, you know, kind of starting small, that is absolutely true. Um, but we are small, but mighty. We have done a lot um, in the world of open source hardware, um, being a small team, and we are super excited to be hiring more people. Um, we're going to get up to six people this year. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, we are small but mighty, and we are changing the earth in ways or changing the world um, for the better. We are adding to what it means to share, and um, together as a community, um, we're going to go places, and I'm really excited about it. So thank you so much, and thank you, Lee and Sid, again for um, all of your efforts in today's um, show and tell and hackathon. Yay. <laughs> uh, I really don't think I, like in 100% honesty, Alicia is the best boss I've ever had. So oh. I'm always very happy that I get to keep working with Oshawa and um, yeah. And for the record, we did, we did this to ourselves. We did decide to do this ourselves. We did we, this to ourselves. We really thought <laughs> what would be better. I was like, 24 hours, no, you need to sleep. <laughs> and we were like, like no. <laughs> we said, no, we're going to do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're really stoked on everything we get to do with Asha. I honestly feel extremely lucky that this yeah. is my job. Me too. <laughs>
thank you for coming on, Alicia. Thank you for giving us info about the Oshawa projects that we have coming up. We can't wait to work on them, really. <laughs> and uh, last thing, if people, let's say they should become members, but if they do not want to become members um, and or they're not able to become members, how can they keep up with Oshawa? Yeah, so <laughs> all of our social media, um, we've got LinkedIn, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram. Our Discord is a great place for like actual chatting mm -hmm. and conversation. Um, those are usually the best ways to keep up with Ashwa. You can also email us info at ashwa.org. We'll try our best to help you. Um, you can also email me direct, Alicia at ashwa.org. Um, we are reachable, but please give us time because, like I said, we are small but mighty. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get to your email. It just might uh, take us a minute. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. We'll talk to you later, Alicia. Yeah, Bye. thank you.